Astronomers have just spotted something really strange moving through our solar system. It's fast, it's huge, and it seems to have come from outside our solar system, making it possibly only the third known interstellar visitor ever discovered. Its name, 3I Atlas, and it's not like the others. It's moving at an incredible speed of 60 kilometers per second and initial estimates suggest it could be a 20 kilometer wide mountain of ice and rock. That's like discovering a mountain the size of a city hurled from a lost star system. But this discovery does more than just add a new name to a list. It reignites a fierce debate that began with its two older siblings. First, there was Umamua, the Enigma, a bizarre elongated shard that tumbled through our system pushed by an unseen force we still can't explain. Then came 2i Borisov, the familiar stranger, a classic active comet, behaving exactly as we'd expect. One was a riddle, the other was normal. So, which one is 3i Atlas here to be? A predictable cosmic snowball? Or another riddle sent from the deep dark to challenge everything we think we know? In this video, we'll explore what we know about this giant visitor, where it came from, and why some scientists are already preparing the James Webb Telescope to look for signs that it might not be entirely natural. This isn't just a story about a rock, it's about our place in a galaxy of strangers. 3i Atlas is currently falling toward us from the star-dusted heart of the constellation Sagittarius. Its path is a one-way ticket, a perfect hyperbola, a trajectory of pure escape. It will not be captured by our sun. It will swing past us once and then vanish back into the interstellar night. Even its direction is a quiet rebellion. While most planets and asteroids in our system travel on a relatively flat plane, like cars on a racetrack, 3i Atlas ignores the rules of our road. It approaches from high above, plunging down almost vertically. It moves against the current, a cosmic salmon swimming upstream against the gravitational flow of our entire solar system. And as it falls toward the sun, it is beginning to awaken. The faint warmth of our sun, even millions of kilometers away, is stirring it from an eon of slumber. Telescopes have captured the first signs of life, a ghostly cloak of gas and dust, a faint coma, and a short tail unfurling behind it. After a journey of perhaps millions of years in the frozen dark, it is a comet, or at least it looks like one. And its sheer scale holds clues to its origin story. To launch an object this massive at such a high velocity requires an immense gravitational kick. This wasn't a gentle nudge out of its home system. It was likely flung out by a massive planet, perhaps a giant gas world much larger than our Jupiter, or a chaotic dance between two stars. This messenger doesn't just come from another star, it comes from a place of immense power and turmoil. This is where the detective story truly begins. With Umamua, the mystery was its acceleration. Gravity alone couldn't explain its path. Something was giving it a tiny extra push. For a normal comet, this push comes from gas erupting from its surface like a tiny rocket engine. But Umamua had no visible gas. This single anomaly sparked a scientific firestorm. Was it a chunk of solid hydrogen? A material so volatile it would boil away completely invisibly? Or a fragment of a nitrogen iceberg chipped off a Pluto-like planet in another star system? These are natural, if exotic, explanations. But others like Harvard's Avi Loeb dared to ask a more provocative question. Could that push be artificial, caused by an ultra-thin solar sail? a piece of technology pushed by the light of our own sun? 2i Borisov was the exact opposite. It had a glorious tail and behaved perfectly, its acceleration matching its outgassing. It was a textbook comet from another star. So, with 3i Atlas, the stakes are high. 
If it shows that telltale extra push without a visible coma, the mystery deepens. If its push matches its breath, it's another piece of evidence that our galaxy is full of normal, icy worlds. To find out, scientists are using every tool they have. They are decoding the message written in its light, a technique called spectroscopy. They listen for its chemical breath, searching the faint glow for the unique fingerprints of water, or perhaps more exotic ices. They will point the James Webb Telescope at it, using its powerful infrared eyes to measure the object's heat, which can reveal its true size and shape, hiding beneath the glare of any coma. And this is just the beginning. For centuries, these visitors passed by completely unseen. Now, with advanced telescopes, we've found three in less than a decade. Soon, new observatories like the Vera Rubin in Chile will scan the entire sky, night after night. They won't just find one or two of these visitors, they will likely find dozens per year. We are about to build an entire library of these lost worlds. This will turn a rare event into routine science. We might even find one early enough to do something truly extraordinary, to send a probe, to go and see for ourselves to touch a piece of another star's family. On October 29th, 2025, 3i Atlas will make its closest pass to our sun, revealing more of its secrets before it begins its long, silent journey out. These travelers remind us that our solar system is not an island, but a coastline, visited by the tides of a vast galactic ocean. These are not just rocks, they are pieces of other worlds, time capsules from lost solar systems. They are proof that we are connected to a story far, far larger than our own. What mysteries do you think these silent travelers carry? Are they just frozen relics of forgotten solar systems? Or could they be messengers, clues, maybe even warnings? And what would we discover if, one day, we had the courage and the technology to actually reach one? To touch it, to study it, to hold in our own hands a fragment of a world that no longer exists. Just imagine, a spacecraft built by us launched from our tiny blue planet, racing across the void to catch up with a runaway piece of the cosmos. If that vision sparks something inside you, if the unknown excites you, even just a little, then you're in the right place. Subscribe and join us on this journey, because the cosmos still has so many more stories to tell, and I'd love to share them with you.